All right, guys, loser semifinal coming up. We got the guest from the UK, Sherdell. He's even got the esports jersey. Esports. Esports is here, guys. He's up against Caveman at 370, who's been having a great tournament with his Lei Wulong tonight. Guaranteed top four now. Yeah, I'm really, I really like watching Caveman's Lei. New generation Lei players? That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. I like the new generation Lei players because they haven't been around long enough to have, like, Bad. bad habits? <laughs> well, no, no, no. They have the bad habits, but they haven't been around long enough to have them beaten out of them yet. So they still play really aggressive. They go for the mix-ups and stuff. A lot of old-school late players play really turtly. Yeah, like true. Exalted and stuff like that. So uh, Caveman's really entertaining. His haha -ha step that it's way too fast to be effective. Late player specialist. That's pretty cool. But I remember him playing. He played Law, too, I think, in Tag Team. Right? Yeah. Law Lay? Yeah. But Sherdell going with the Elisa into this match. I have no idea how this matchup plays out. I have no idea. I'm sure they've never played each other. They might not even know who each other are, to yeah. be honest. But, but uh, man, playing Sherdell, I was like, you know, every other Elisa I play against plays that really turtly style. You know, maybe this aggressive style will work out pretty well for me. And then I got messed up. And then brought up the Marduk against Shimpala. That was yeah, really good. Yeah, I did good. not see that coming at all. All right. Nice counter hit four from Sherdell. Getting it started. It should be really aggressive. Like, both these guys are going to want to stay in each other's face. Chainsaws. Chainsaws beat five animals kung fu. And again, plus frames, power crush. Oh, good. Free so hit. Fast. Yeah, the high chainsaw is plus, so going for the power crush is a good bait. All right. Quick first round there from Shadell. Yeah, it's really going to be like who gets the first hit on these rounds. Nice punish on the one styling three plus four. Chainsaws come out again. Destruction form. Lay stuff, lay stuff. Ooh, wow. Goes for the mix up. All right, Razor Rush. Razor Rush, nice low parry. Gonna push him out towards mid screen here. All right, keep away. Oh, just lay on the ground. Whoa, into the throw. Nice break. Breaks it. Lay with the rage. You got like a million rage arts. Structure out, not letting up on the offense right oh, now. Oh, and down three counter hit. That's such a oh, tough move to deal with. Nice, while fan 3 plus 4 there. Oh, oh drops the combo! Miss input. Nerfs. Oh, down back 4. I did not see that coming. Yeah, this is actually this is a really competitive top 4, actually. I mean, everybody's watching Sane and GM, but both these two, you know, have a chance of getting into that Grand Finals. Oh, yeah, for sure. This is a super international top 4 now that I think about it. Yeah, yeah it is. It's crazy. Yeah. <laughs> All these boys coming to Brooklyn. Yeah, we got Korea, we got New York. No, we no, got Saints representing Canada. Now. All right, we got Canada, <laughs> we got New York, we got Europe, and we got online from Caveman. Yeah, we got I don't know where he's from. That online but region? Quick, quick three rounds from Sherdell. We didn't even have time to talk about the match. Yeah, super That's how fast, fast he plays. Caveman's from Syracuse? Caveman's from Syracuse? Oh, all right. These guys are talking to me and confusing me on the side. I'm not sure what, uh, where Caveman's from. It was good to see him come out to an offline event. Yeah, if Sherdell makes like top three or top two, uh, sorry, Spag, we're claiming him for New York. That's the way we go here. <laughs> That's the way it works. Yes. Especially if he wins with Hopkick. Yeah. Yeah, if, you, if he wins with Hopkick, he's definitely New York. It's like, oh, Sherdell won this? New York won this. <laughs> he did it for New York. Caveman's Specifically from Queens. Queens. Caveman's from Queens? Jesus. Right. Queens boy. Let's go. 718, 718. Alright, drop the combo. It's a Queens drop. <laughs> <laughs> Counter hit down three again. We're gonna be able to get to the wall. Oh, oh, just a little combo. short. Dash jab Elisa combos look kinda weird. Well, man, the Plus frames. The chainsaw. All the challenges with the rave sweep. We'll counter hit. Oh, didn't. Oh, confirm, but that's gonna take it with the full combo. The wall breaks it. This yeah. is definitely dead. Unless hit. Round two. All right, standing four. Step. Oh, snake oh in a nice back dash. Alicia's back dash, one of the best in the game. Ducks again. Someone's, somebody's trying to shoot, shoot missiles at you. Just fly on the ground. Windmill kicks miss because of the off axis. Yeah, got the full. Oh, dog in the side. Oh, this might take it to the wall. Full combo. Oh, hit short. Mix up, mix up. Safety, safety. Nice oh, with punish. Oh, blue stuff. Oh, on the backboard. Ooh. 
What a drop there from Shredell. I've been noticing Caveman goes to this stage every time he loses. This is definitely his this stage that he likes. Ooh, float, no conversion. Oh, gets hit with the 4-4-3. Four four, four wall, wall break. Little combo here. Last hit whips because off assets. That fly makes up. <laughs> Duffs him. Caveman, huge deficit in the side. side. Oh, the full string. Mix up. Rage Drive, that's got a couple comeback mechanics. Here we go. Nice little nice little conversion there. Yeah. Adjusted to the sidewall. Wow. Total yeah. 180 that second game. Yeah, I don't know. I, could I, have, I have ideas about why Caveman likes the stage. You know, small, confined on the upper stage. I mean, sometimes you just like a stage. Like, as long as you're not uh, you're putting yourself in a deficit, and you just like the stage. Yeah. yeah. That's why I like Abandoned Temple. I just like the music. Yeah. Yeah, the one thing about, you know, Caveman likes the mix-ups, but when he's playing neutral game, he's actually really hard to pin down. The ha, ha step, he's got a really good side, yeah, he's really good at sidestepping things and side walking. Sure. Well, the thing is, we've been seeing really good movement from Shredell as well. You know, he's been back dashing well, he's been side, side walking, a lot of lay stuff, uh, lays, tracking, not the best. Yeah, but Shredell's main movement is forward. Right. He's definitely the most aggressive Elisa I've seen, outside of maybe Cuddlecore. Down back for at the That's start. The time it's well, hard. ships passing the night. Missiles. <laughs> he loves those missiles. What just runs right out and boosts. <laughs> All right. Running two. Oh, counter hit. hit. The chal what kind of challenge yeah, is that? Yeah, infinite stage, so we're just going to cash out for damage. Yeah, no no sense going for wall carry at all. Ooh, oh, goes the over the low. Over the three low. Oh, but lay stop. Tekken 7. <laughs> boop, 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 boop. He's going nowhere. Oh, that was fun. <laughs> <laughs> he does it so <laughs> fast, it doesn't even seem effective. <laughs> I mean, if that down forward 2 would have hit, it would have been effective. It's like people that back da backdash way too fast when your character oh, yeah. has like a long backdash. You're not even going anywhere. All right. I st oh, duck again. Oh, challenge. Run up in his face. All right, nice get up there. Going over the low again. Good life lead for Shadell here. Even though he's a pretty aggressive player, this is definitely a time where you just want to sit on this life lead. 20 seconds left for Shardell with a pretty good life lead. 20 seconds. Okay, but makes, look at this keep out. Oh, he still oh. hit the Rockets. Brat. <laughs> Brat. <laughs> yeah, Shardell just milking this life. Oh, but this frame this advantage, he's got to guess. He's got 10 seconds worth of mix-ups. Down 4-1. Nice challenge. Yeah, if you block if you block uh, Snake 1-2-1 one, one into Panther, you definitely can challenge there. That's the important thing, when you, especially like Razor Rush and then Snake 1 2 1. If you block that stuff, it's definitely your time to challenge of a mid. Just take them out of the stance. That's usually my theory for Snatch characters. They're in a stance, just make them block something and take them yeah, out of the stance right out. away. Yeah, you, know, you take a tool away, it becomes so much easier to deal with. Alright, nice block from the Razor Rush string. Challenge while standing through. Oh, he ducked! He ate it! That was not guaranteed. Oh, he like messes up the combo! No, no, four. Spends right. Rage Rush, just gonna mix up. Little damage on the slide. Breaks the one plus two throw. And down four. four. 12 frame, down four, zero on hit. Zero on hit, super good. Yeah. Doesn't glow crush like other let down fours, but still really good tool in Lay's arsenal. arsenal. Back turn, still gonna get something here. Oh, Try to go for, for Oki. Yeah, yeah. That's another thing that Caveman does. He will be greedy and go for Oki Ooh. on his setups. Ooh, that's that's a it. Oh, tight, right. Rave. Oh, clipped in. Chainsaw stuff. Wow. I like that wild side one to get him out. Yeah, finish oh, it that no time. Ducks. How many and times can you hit him on the floor? Now Caveman's the one with the life lead. As long as he doesn't get shot in the face again, he'll be alright. All sliding. Slide. Look, frame advantage. The mix up neutral. The heat up the time. Oh Doesn't no duck it! Maybe. Down three again. Oh, and then oh, that's gonna do, do hella damage. Ten frame yeah. while standing three. Takes it. Yeah. Damn. Caveman gets up, gives him the head tilt, like. How'd you uh, like that? He defended online from you? <laughs> yeah. And Shardell out in fourth place. Really good showing. Apparently he's gonna be in town until Summer Jam. Oh, oh nice, hell yeah. So, so uh, hopefully you'll see Shardell at Summer Jam on stream. Hopefully he'll have a good run there.
Shut up. Give me a sec. We said if he wins SPAC, he was going to be NYC. We already have enough losers in NYC. We don't need more of those. We need winners.